What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and we're in July. And you know what that means. Fantasy football buffs like myself are already out there doing mock drafts to see where every player is going to be for every round. So when you do end up doing your real fantasy draft, you know exactly who you want to get, and then you kind of formulate an opinion on who you think your buddy's going to get, so you end up getting that person before him, and then you end up, you know, strategically drafting. That's how it is being a fantasy football nerd. Now, who are some Jacksonville Jaguars players that you should keep your eye on during your fantasy football draft this season? Well, there aren't many of them, and I won't front around. I'm a big fantasy football guy, and I'm a big Jacksonville Jaguars guy. I don't think that there's a ton of Jaguar players that I would personally draft to my fantasy team, but there are five guys that you definitely should take a crack on if they are on the board for you in your fantasy draft, ladies and gentlemen. These are five Jaguars that you should draft in your fantasy draft. Coming in at number five, we have Marquise Lee. Marquise Lee is one of the Jaguars wide receivers that will thrive next year in 2019 with new quarterback Nick Foles. This guy also does a lot after the catch, and if you are in a PPR league, I would bet my money that Marquise Lee is going to lead the Jaguars in receptions next year. There are some other wide receivers that maybe you should keep your eye on, but this wide receiver group is definitely not the type of receivers you want to be drafting in fantasy football. There are a couple of wideouts that the Jags have, and one more that you'll see just here in a second, that I think is worth a fantasy pick in your fantasy draft if it's later on in the rounds. You know, once you hit like round 9, round 10, and you know, you're looking at guys that could bust out and be budget beasts for you, Marquise Lee is that guy. Marquise Lee is not going to be a guy that gets you over a thousand yards, but he's a guy that can consistently get you between five and ten points. And as a wide receiver, that's what you need. You know, in fantasy, I get tired of drafting guys like Julio Jones that get me 20 points a week. I mean, that could get me 20 points in a week, but will also give me four points the next week. That's why you need to have some of these guys like Marquise Lee chilling on your bench or maybe play in your flex spot because he's a guy that, especially, like I said, in a PPR, he'll get a lot of catches and he won't be catching the deep balls down the field, but he'll be doing a lot with his legs after the catch in order to be getting you those fantasy points. So in my opinion, Marquise Lee is one of the Jaguar players that you should keep an eye on for in your fantasy draft. Number four, D.D. Westbrook. D.D. Westbrook, very much the different type of player than Marquise Lee, but still kind of similar. D.D. can still do things after the catch, but that's more Marquise Lee's trademark. That's more what Marquise Lee's game's about. This guy will take the top off the defense and do things well in the slot. You know, for a PPR guy, maybe not so much receptions, but for yards and touchdowns too. I think in the red zone, speedy old D.D. Westbrook is going to be a reliable target for Nick Foles. Though he's not big, he's reliable, his hands are nice, he doesn't drop a lot of balls. So in that sense, maybe in a PPR league, he would be beneficial for you to have because he does not drop a lot of passes. Any pass that hits his hands, he's going to come down with it. And now that he has Nick Foles in at the helm at the quarterback position, you know that his numbers are just going to rise and skyrocket. And this is a guy that a lot of fantasy experts are actually projecting to be a sleeper in this year's draft. So a lot of people are kind of getting onto the D.D. Westbrook train right now. You know, other people that aren't even Jaguar fans, you know, are looking at, ooh, D.D. Westbrook's here in the seventh round. Should I snag him? So you're going to have to snag him a little early and... In my best fantasy football advice, I wouldn't reach too far for D.D. Westbrook. If he's there in the 6th, 7th round, I would snag him because I think he has tremendous, tremendous upside. But if it's like the 4th, 5th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, you know, don't touch D.D. Westbrook. But he will have an opportunity to shine and to ball out, and he's going to be perfect for your flex position all year long in 2019. Draft D.D. Westbrook in your fantasy football drafts. Number 3, the Jaguars defense. Now, if you drafted the Jaguars defense in 2017, you know how electric those boys are. You know how many fantasy points those guys got you because they would consistently cause turnovers, always get sacks, and always score on the defensive side of the ball. Now, with defenses, you obviously are not going to be selecting them very high. However, this is a defense you should try and take off the board 
first before you take a lot of other defenses. There's not a whole lot of other defenses I would take in 2019 over the Jaguars defense. The only other one I might consider is the Chicago Bears. I think the Bears defense last year was very similar to the Jaguars defense in 2017 where they caused a lot of turnovers, got a lot of sacks, and scored a lot of points. Now this Jaguar defense, though it's missing some people from its 2017 days, it's still a very, very stout group. And we have young guys that are looking to step up like Josh Allen. Josh Allen's going to be a big contributor to this Jaguars defense when he gets his number called and he's going to be hungry. There's a lot of guys out here that are hungry and looking to make plays. The secondary is still great. These cornerbacks are still elite. These safeties are a little questionable, but they're pretty solid in their spots in my opinion. And we will be getting a decent amount of turnovers this year and we'll be able to put those points into those turnovers into points on the offensive end. Hopefully with the other Jaguar player that you drafted that is on their offense. But this Jaguar defense is still not a defense to joke around about it's still worth reaching a little bit to get this defense because they will get you a good amount of fantasy points week in and week out definitely draft the Jaguars defense in 2019 number two Leonard Fournette now 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 chill out I know I know y'all drafted him in 2018 and you were expecting a lot out of him you probably spent a really high draft pick now if you've been like me and you've done some mock drafts you know Leonard Fournette is slipping in these mock drafts, and he's a guy that if he's there in the fourth round, even in the third round, I would definitely take a gamble on him, especially if you already got a better running back already. This is He's a perfect running back number two. If you are skeptical about how Leonard Fournette will perform in 2019, you don't want to draft him on your fantasy team, make sure he's a running back two or in your flex if that's how you are. If you're a little skeptical, trust Leonard Fournette is a perfect running back number two. You know, if you can go out there, you know you have one of the first picks, you get like a Saquon Barkley, Todd Gurley, Ezekiel Elliott, one of those guys. When you come back around in round two or three and you're looking for that running back to be your second or your third running back, Leonard Fournette is that guy that you need to draft because he is going to be having a good season in 2019 to re-emerge as an elite runner because all these other running backs that have been drafted in the first round have all just been really great. And Leonard Fournette has really been only been the only question mark among all these running backs. And I think that question is going to be getting answered in 2019. I think with this boosted up offensive line... If we stay healthy and the fact that we're going to be able to mix run and pass like we never have before when we had Blake Bortles, Leonard Fournette's numbers are going to go up. And I don't know if they're going to be better than his 2017 numbers, but I think they're going to be pretty identical. If this guy stays on the field, he's going to be a great running back too for you and will be at the end of the season a solid running back number one for your fantasy team. Drop Leonard Fournette in fantasy football this season. And before we get into number one, I want to shout out an honorable mention, mostly because it's a hot take, and I know if I get it right, it'll be on a video, and everybody can praise me for being a fantasy football genius. I think Raquel Armstead would be a great last round selection for you. You know, when you get towards those last rounds, you know, it doesn't really make or break you. You know, you just need to pick a guy that's on the board. And if you're a Jags fan, draft Raquel Armstead. Or if you're just watching this and you're a fantasy football guy, probably never heard of him, but draft Raquel Armstead, the rookie running back for the Jacksonville Jaguars, because I think this guy's going to be good in the red zone, and I think if Leonard Fournette does go down with an injury, I think he'll be a pretty solid player next year. I don't think he's going to be a guy that should start for you, but I think he's a guy that if you have a guy on a bye week and you need somebody to kind of step up and play his role and score you a couple touchdowns, that's going to be Raquel Armstead. I am saying it right now, Raquel Armstead is the biggest sleeper on this Jaguars team as far as fantasy goes, and you should definitely take a stab at him in your last round of your fantasy draft. And number one, Nick Foles. Big Dick Nick is going to be slinging the motherfucking rock in 2019, and he should be your fantasy quarterback next year, especially because if you're in a league with guys that usually reach for quarterbacks. You know, if somebody's out there getting like a Patrick Mahomes in the second round, you can get Nick Foles in like the 8th, ninth round and be just fine. Especially because he's going to be putting up pretty solid stats for you. Now, I don't think he's a guy that's like a Patrick Mahomes, you know. And Patrick Mahomes, is he's a good quarterback. Like, don't get me wrong. It's from a fantasy view. So if you're not a fantasy football guy, you might not understand the fact that you just really don't get quarterbacks early on in a fantasy draft. You know, except Patrick Mahomes. And Mahomes is a guy that consistently get you like 30, 40 points, you know, just great. 
But Nick Foles is a guy that'll get you no under than 20 every single week. That's consistent performance. And that's what I think he will be in 2019. Is the Jaguars' most consistent performer on the field and the most consistent fantasy football player for the Jaguars in 2019. Nick Foles should be able to throw over 3,000 yards, probably like 3,500 yards, and then over 20, 25 touchdowns. So that's going to be good fantasy numbers for your fantasy football team. And that is why you should draft Nick Foles and why he is the best fantasy football prospect for the Jaguars heading into 2019. And that was five Jaguars you need to draft in your fantasy draft in 2019. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.